Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new around here, hello, my name is Gemma. So lovely to have you here on my channel. So this video I have promised for a couple of weeks now. I did film a YouTube video on how to build the perfect capsule wardrobe for autumn. So if you missed that, I'll link it on the screen here. Definitely go have a watch. I hope that you found it or will find it really, really useful. I did promise that I would split the video into two parts, focusing on clothes as the first video and then the second one being accessories, which is today's video. So I really hope that you find this video useful all about building the perfect capsule wardrobe for autumn let's get straight into it i really hope you enjoy guys so accessories in my opinion really can elevate an outfit and you've got your capsule wardrobe you've got the foundation to create lots of beautiful outfit options but now you need the accessories to just complete the outfit. I do have to stress here that a capsule wardrobe, both clothing and accessories, does take a little bit of time to build. Rome wasn't built in a day, and the same applies to your capsule wardrobe. And I have to stress that it has taken me probably a good like year two years to build up what i feel is the perfect capsule wardrobe that transitions so nicely from summer into autumn and winter and then again into spring and summer kicking off with footwear i am going to start with flat shoes and i feel like it is so important to have a really good pair of flat shoes i would recommend either a loafer ballet flat Birkenstock or something of that effect. But I do have Birkenstock Bostons. These are in the shade tobacco, I think. That is a closer look at them. They are absolutely stunning. Look at that color. I do love these, they're so comfortable, but if I am to pick between Birkenstocks and loafers, I don't actually own ballet flats. Very big trend for autumn and winter. I still don't know if it's one that I'm buying into yet. If I am to suggest one pair of flat shoes to you, I'm going to recommend the ones that I get the most wear out of and have a better cost per wear ratio. And it has to be loafers. Obviously you can see I do take very good care of my loafers. I would really encourage you guys, oh, if I can get it out, to get these shoe trees. You don't have to break the bank with these. I'll link some from Amazon, but I actually got these from Ikea. I think they were like a pound for a pair. And these Prada loafers did set me back a few pennies. So I want to keep them in tip top condition. So these are the Prada loafers. They're a little bit chunky, but not too chunky. I'll pop them on here. And guys, if you see my Instagram as well, I'll insert a couple of images on the screen of me styling up these loafers. I wear these so much. And I know they're not going to be for everybody. A loafer is a classic investment shoe i really feel there's a place in your capsule wardrobe i mean it's going to be personal preference obviously with these shoe options that i'm showing you take what resonates that's the beauty about personal style it is personal but i honestly get so much wear out of these they're comfortable i feel like they elevate any outfit you can depending on your budget get really affordable high street versions i'll link some below for you h&m have some great ones mango uh, and other stories and office do great ones it goes without saying you need trainers i'm a comfort girly i mean i'm so glad that they're fashionable so i've got a few styles here to recommend to you i would advise going for a neutral and a black pair of trainers to start with these are the adidas special trainers i love these so much and guys they are so comfortable when i first got these i was unsure how much wear i'd get out of black trainers because i don't actually think i've owned a pair of black tra trainers before this pair but wow, they have transitioned so nicely into my wardrobe. This is what they look like on. This is how I would wear them for every day. And they're so comfortable. I love that you can wear these kind of trainers with jeans, but then you can also pair them with tailoring as well. Um, so they're perfect for like work and casual. A black pair of trainers, they don't have to be Adidas. You could go for any brand. I know uh, New Balance do some really nice ones, but I'm just recommending what I have in my capsule wardrobe and these are so 
comfortable and i would also recommend a neutral pair of trainers these again are the adidas special handball trainers if you want to actually see five ways that i've styled these um i'll pop my instagram handle here these are the trainer of the season. A closer look at them. These are, I think, the colour chalk white. And like the black ones, super comfortable. Um, the sambas work really well as well. The sambas are white and a slightly more flatter sole. I think they're more like a gazelle. They have been everywhere. I just think a white trainer is just... It is a staple. They go with so much. They go, they go with jeans. Like I said, you can pair them with tailoring as well. Um, you can really dress them up and down for every day. But some other white trainers I would recommend, uh, like a classic Stan Smith, you can't go wrong. That is a really plain trainer. Uh, New Balance 530s. I feel like those were very trending last year. I still wear mine. They're so comfortable. New Balance trainers generally are so comfortable. So I will link some white trainers down below for you, including the New Balance. I would definitely recommend a neutral pair of trainers and a black pair of trainers. And a recent addition to my wardrobe are these New Balance. So this is the 530. I get so mixed up with the stars, but I think this is the 530. And these are in grey, and guys, they are amazing. Again, so comfortable, and I really like them because grey actually goes with a lot. I love a grey tonal look for autumn. They look amazing with blue denim jeans, indigo jeans, black jeans, faux leather trousers, like the list goes on. And I like that they're a bit different than your classic white trainer. So yeah, would 100% recommend these trainers. Moving on to a pair of black ankle boots. No wardrobe is complete without a pair of black boots. You can really play around with the style. You can do a Chelsea boot. You can do something more. I'd say these are like in between a Chelsea and a, not a biker, but they're a bit chunkier than a Chelsea boot. I actually got these from Zara a couple of years ago. Zara do great, I'd say, mid-range real leather boots. These are real leather. I think they cost me $89.99. Like I said, I've had them for a good few years now and they barely look worn. I mean, they've got a little bit of creasing here, as you can see on the front, but I really like that they're slightly chunky. They don't have a zip, so you just pull them on. My recommendation would be just to go for quite a classic style. It means that each season I could just pull them out and they go with so many looks. Obviously, the biker boot is very trending, so if you do have a pair of black ankle boots in your wardrobe already, then maybe you want to add like a trend piece in. The biker boot is... The boot to be seen in this season. I've got Mimi to thank for that. Ankle boots on a high street budget. I would recommend H&M do amazing boots. Zara and other stories. Uh, Arquette, obviously, a little bit more expensive. Office, great options, but it, it depends on what your budget allows. So I wanted to include a heeled boot because I think that... Every wardrobe needs a pair of these because they do elevate an outfit, they dress an outfit up. I think they're a great option for work. Sometimes when I feel like my outfit is lacking a little something something, I add these boots and I, I just feel like instantly it elevates it. Say I've got a plain white tee on, jeans and a blazer, add these and it just instantly looks a little bit more dressy. A very good one to take maybe from day to night as well. Um, so I got these ones, I think, from Stradivarius, and they're just a sock boot. They're very plain, so comfortable, gorgeous faux leather, and I would 100% recommend these. They look great with my And Other Stories jeans. Again, Zara do great ones. River Island, uh, I got these from Stradivarius, Bershka. Have a look on ASOS as well. I'll link some down below for you. I feel like the heel height isn't too offensive. The key here is to go for like a blockish style heel or make them super, super comfy. But I've had these for a couple of years now and I can just mix and match them with so many of my outfits. Other shoe option you need is a classic black pair of heels i wanted to include these because i just think they're so elegant and this is proof that you do not need to break the bank i got these from h&m and i think they were no more than 30 pounds and they look so chic with all of my outfits i think it's the sling back it's the kitten heel i know not everybody loves a kitten heel but 
they're timeless. You cannot deny that they are timeless. I love the detail here on the front. I just think it elongates the foot, it elongates the leg. Looks amazing with wide leg trousers. It's a great option for work, but then again, you can take it from work to dinner, work to drinks. Could go for a more classic like stiletto, like a court shoe. There's so many options that you can go for, but I just say stick to something quite timeless. You can mix and match with a lot of your different outfits from trousers, jeans, dresses, skirts, things like that. I wanted to include a pair of knee-high boots. These are actually a recent purchase of mine. They're from Tony Bianco. And I have to say, I am obsessed with these. I decided to invest because I really, really like the heel height. I think they're really, really good for every day. Again, the way I maintain my boots is with like shoe horns or stretchers. Um, investing in those will really allow you to keep the shape of your boots. These ones I will say actually, if you are thinking about buying them, the only thing I'll say about these is they seem to crease a lot. Like, I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of creasing on the boots already. And I have only worn them a couple of times. But I think they do feel like a really nice leather. I don't really know what that means. But I wear skirts and tights, jumper dresses and tights and knee-high boots so much. I feel like it's one of my staple autumn looks so for me these really need a place in my capsule wardrobe and they are very loved um i had a zara pair that i bought five years ago and honestly they saw me through many many years and many good outfits and i do also have these gorgeous cream pair uh, like i said i wear jumper dresses skirts things like that a lot during the autumn and winter months thrown with like a big coat over the top so for me i get so much wear out of these and i've had these ones i think for three years feel to me like just as good as new and oh honestly like a cream jumper dress a nice belt these boots i'll pop a picture here of the outfit that i mean love i think it's a very me outfit very classy very timeless and like i said i've had these for years i actually got these ones from zara don't think they were any more than 100 pounds go with a bag that i'm going to show you next absolutely beautifully probably suggest getting the black first and then like i said capsule wardrobe is about adding pieces slowly as and when you can afford to i get so much wear out of these that i could not not feature them in this video this last pair of shoes is not only going to be a marmite shoe i appreciate it's not going to be for everybody so like i said take what resonates i would suggest adding a pair of uggs of some description to your capsule wardrobe because when it gets really cold i wear these religiously and i mean uggs really are having a moment these are the tasman they are in the shade mustard seed i think but they come in various shades brown your classic like chestnut brown i love these because i think they look really really good with stand with joggers you can wear them with wide leg jeans they actually look really cute with a skirt 15 20 denier tight and socks like really cozy vibes with bare legs and like maybe a little skirt and an oversized jumper super super cute there's many different styles you can get in arcs you can get the tasmans which is this style which looks more like a slipper a little bit hoofy from the front but super comfy i've also got the platform uggs as well i'll pop a photo here and i also have the ultra mini in chestnut and black I wear them a lot and they're so so comfy and cozy I deserve a place in my capsule wardrobe at least okay now moving on to bags i really struggled to whittle this down but i think these are the ones that i would recommend out of my collection starting with a classic black bag i have worn this religiously and it's a beautiful beautiful bag again there's loads of high street beautiful options zara are great for classic bags also they dupe a lot of designer handbags as well and um, pauline i feel is a mid-range designer handbag brand as well a beautiful french brand coach uh, as well mid-range 
uh, Jacquemus, there's a lot of more affordable options. So I would definitely suggest a black bag that you can transition really nicely from day to night. I wear this in the day with all of my classic outfits and then I take it out on nights out, dinner, drinks. A more affordable option is a bag that I have shared a couple of times in recent hauls and it is this Marks and Spencers one. It is a Celine dupe and it's absolutely stunning. I think that the very minimal gold hardware makes it really really classic classy and chic slung on your shoulder like that just so nice a black bag is a must and a neutral bag of some description so these are both from coach this is the coach tabby in chalk and this is the coach pillow one is definitely more of like a whitey cream and this one is more of like a buttery cream i don't know if you can see the difference in shades there this one is a really good size for every day i love that it comes with an adjustable body strap as well i wear it both ways to be honest but i love wearing this as a shoulder bag like gorgeous timeless chic very minimal i mean look at that i also wear this for all seasons spring summer autumn and winter i really like that it's like a grainy texture can you see that considering that this is a very neutral shade and i've had this for about three years i think it looks really unworn. I like that you can wipe this down with a baby wipe or a wet wipe or something. Definitely, definitely recommend this one. But I also love this one just as much. I mean, this one is so squidgy. I do have this in the miniature size as well, but I would definitely recommend this one for an everyday bag because it is really spacious inside. It fits everything that you need to. And again, I love that you can take off the strap so you can have it as a shoulder bag oh my god look it literally looks like an ice cream so you can have it as a shoulder bag like that um and then you can also wear it as a crossbody i wear it both ways um again this comes in so many colorways the chalk white one comes in black which i love i absolutely love coach as a brand and once you have those in your wardrobe you can start adding maybe more trend pieces at the minute red is really trending in like that cherry red and also more of a burgundy red so you can kind of have a play on that trend and add more trend pieces into your wardrobe or add like a tan bag but for me i would say those are the ones that i use the absolute most that i can mix and match with so many of my outfits okay now moving on to belts i've got a black belt this one is the gucci marmont i think i think this one is in the medium size it's got that really big double g um and then a thicker band i think this does actually come in a number of different styles i'll be completely honest with you i've had this for a while i think this might have been one of my like first big designer purchases in all honesty i don't really wear it that much i find that this double g is just very in your face and i don't know why i just don't really wear it a lot so i think what i'm gonna do is actually maybe pop this on vintage and sell it and get i really love the ysl belt and also the celine belt as well so i might sell this and get that as a replacement because i do think that a designer belt really elevates your outfit so much it just takes like a plain white tee and jeans add a belt and it you just look instantly more put together i don't know what it is so if you're thinking about this belt i don't know if i would 100 percent recommend it that's just my personal opinion i'm always going to be honest with you guys just because i don't feel like I probably can count on my hands the amount of times that I've worn this belt. With that said, a black belt is definitely a absolute must for your capsule wardrobes. But again, you don't need to get designer. H&M do great ones and other stories are kept. Places like that. Cos, I mean H&M, they do amazing real leather black belts with gold or silver hardware 
for like under 20 pounds and i would always recommend getting gold hardware over silver i just personally think it is more timeless classic and chic but again it's like jewelry preference some people like silver some people like gold and then i would also recommend a tan belt as well this one's actually from coach and i really really like this one i think it's very timeless this one is also i think reversible is it from memory i haven't actually worn it that way i mean maybe i should because i feel like this like red color is very trending for autumn and winter tan belt is a capsule wardrobe piece that will transition you through all seasons and i like that this one is quite minimal apart from the c logo it's just quite plain but again you don't need to go designer I've seen some great tan belts from h&m with both silver and gold hardware but i actually think tan and gold is such a beautiful color combo and just looks so expensive now moving on to jewelry throughout the years i feel like my preference in jewelry definitely has changed i feel like i like very minimal jewelry like the necklace i'm wearing today this one's actually from a brand called zoe and morgan my friend tiff actually bought it for me as a birthday present absolutely love it but monica veneda missima had the mini fang choker necklace and the coin necklace and i wore those <laughs> i think every single day for about four years i did not take them off um, but they did start to tarnish a little bit which is expected after four years worth of wear in the shower in the swimming pool spraying perfume on them so yeah that's to be expected but i would recommend a lovely dainty gold necklace feel like really elevates an outfit some simple rings i feel like my favorite brands are come a bit closer have a real mix to be honest so these are monica vinader absolutely love these i've had these for a while i love diamond details and then these are there's a range i think that is oh, i can never remember the brand but this is and other stories this one's boho moon so yeah you really don't need to break the bank obviously i do have some more expensive pieces like i said from monica veneda that's probably my favorite jewelry brand but again i've got high street as well this is the expensive designer hand and this is the the budget hand you don't need to have rings on every finger but i just i feel naked without my rings and i would recommend a good watch you see the cartier watches are absolutely beautiful but they're not really within my <laughs> my price budget this watch from larson and jennings i wear all the time and i get so many compliments on it it looks absolutely gorgeous i love this like two-tone metal i think it looks really premium also a really good like dupe for your cartier like it's absolutely stunning it is from larson and jennings i will link it down below for you i get so many compliments every time i wear this uh, daniel wellington do gorgeous very simple classic watches i think go for something simple timeless uh, Larson and Jennings are a favourite of mine. I mean, if you can afford Cartier, honey, you're doing something right. I need to do what you're doing. But yeah, this this is my absolute favourite. A pair of gold hoops are going to be your best friend. Like, I cannot tell you. I mean, I look a little bit like Dumbo now. But what a pair of gold hoops does for your outfit. So look at me now. Let's take them out. About to fully expose myself like guys look at the difference between no hoops versus hoops i don't like a big hoop i feel like the only time i really wear a big hoop is if i'm going on a night out and my dress is quite plain and i want to accessorize it these ones are from a brand called i don't know how to pronounce it it's yoj i will link them down below for you um, but again, I've got some from Monica Vinader. Uh, Missima do gorgeous gold hoops. I think the daintier, the better. So this is a close-up of these ones. They're absolutely stunning, really dainty. In the morning, I, I do take them out every evening before I go to bed. But when I'm doing my skincare and I don't have my hoops in, I'm like, I look like a mole rat. Like, I need to put my earrings in. So yeah, a pair of gold hoops is an absolute must. Moving on to some other accessories caps or hats so think beanies you could do a fedora 
um, baseball cap, depending on what your style is. I feel like for me, I do wear beanies in the winter. They definitely keep my ears warm. Um, I'm not really a fedora girl. I never really have been a fedora girl. I just feel like it's too much on my head. But obviously, like I said, take what resonates. But caps, I can get on board with caps. I think that caps instantly elevate an outfit. I mean, this is a prime example of adding a cap to quite a plain blazer, denim skirt, trainer outfit elevates it so this jacket which i wore last winter this is from zara just with black leggings and uggs the cap is just very plain but it makes the outfit depending on your budget you can go for a designer cap or the high street offer great options as well like a nike baseball cap new balance i really do want the celine but I just don't feel like I wear caps enough to justify that purchase yet. But I've got some very affordable options. This is a plain black one. This was the one that I actually had on in the cutaway that I showed you. This is just from H&M. I think it was $9.99. Like a very plain standard cap but instantly elevates an outfit. And then I have this one from New Balance. Which I feel like just adds a little bit of something because of the slogan um as you can see you've got the new balance there currently tala do some great ones adenola they've got a really nice one that says adder which i really really want so i'll link those down below for you i have one from tala in a neutral shade this looks amazing with my khaki leggings khaki top trench coats thrown over the top trainers and then this that is off duty vibey i just think little accessories like this can really take a very plain outfit and just elevate it black or a cream cap is going to be a really nice accessory to add to your capsule wardrobe and another accessory i mean guys we love the cozy vibes over here a scarf you need a scarf of some description again you don't need to break the bank here these are both from asos and they are so cozy so i would recommend a neutral color um i do actually have a green one somewhere from mango it was the one that i wore here absolutely love that outfit so much but these generally tend to go with a lot of my outfits love this brown one so autumnal so cozy looks amazing with blazers uh, with coats like a black coat or a neutral coat and then this brown scarf i just think it's a very simple accessory but it just makes your outfit look so autumnal and also has the added benefit of keeping you warm h&m do great ones actually primark do really good ones as well and then i also have this one which is a mix of neutral shades um love this also like doubles up if you're going to the cinema take this with you and it's like a personal blanket another accessory that needs a mention in building your capsule wardrobe not just for autumn but all year round is a good pair of sunglasses so i will admit i do feel like obviously you can get a lot of really good options on the high street i mean even primark do really really good sunglass options with sunglasses it is very personal because it depends on your face shape so for me i feel like i actually used to wear the round ray-ban you know the john lennon style sunglasses but i think where i've had or where i have braces now my face shape has changed and those just don't suit me i've got them in my wardrobe and i pulled them out the other day and i was like wow these really don't suit me um but obviously you've got like your cat eye your round sunglasses aviators like there's so many different styles i have to admit i really do want to invest in the tortoiseshell mew mew ones but sunglasses elevate an outfit and they just make you look cool but again i've got a couple of really affordable options these ones like a tortoiseshell effect and they are like a i'd say a cat eye yeah they're definitely a cat eye these ones i got from and other stories they do great sunglasses they're about 25 to 35 pounds so really affordable uh, i think the specs are an amazing one i think they're stocked on asos uh, they're like mid-range 50 60 pounds for a pair of sunglasses i also have these ones from they they are they are they're like a vintagey retro like i think with the um 
lens effect and again i tend to prefer tortoiseshell i find it a lot softer um against my face anyway than black but i do have like black cat eye sunglasses but i really want the Mew Mew sunglasses um i'll insert a picture of the ones that i mean here with the Mew Mew on the side um but they they are an investment pair of sunglasses for sure but yeah you need a pair of sunglasses and they will see you through i just feel like having a pair of designer sunglasses as well is just such a nice thing to have um and usually would be something that i'd ask for like a birthday present so i think i have just about covered everything on the accessories front for complementing your outfits to create the perfect capsule wardrobe obviously i'm focusing more on autumn and winter because those are the seasons that we're transitioning into but a lot of these pieces apply for just a capsule wardrobe generally and will transition really really nicely obviously switch out the boots for sandals when you're going to spring and summer but you get the gist i really really hope that you have found this video useful if i've missed anything do let me know down below in the comments as always i would love to hear from you in the comments let me know what your favorite accessories are for your capsule wardrobes what brands you like to shop at um obviously i have spoken about some of my favorite brands but there's so many brands out there i might not actually know about your favorites so yeah do let me know down below in the comments if you've made it to the end of the video guys comment with capsule wardrobe i see you um and i hope that you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one guys bye